The Tejas is an Indian single-engine, delta-wing, multi-role light fighter designed by the Aeronautical Development Agency, ADA, in collaboration with Aircraft Research and Design Center, ARDC, of Hindustan Aeronautics Limited, HAL, for the Indian Air Force and Indian Navy. It came from the Light Combat Aircraft LCA program, which began in the 1980s to replace India's aging MiG-21 fighters. The Tejas is the smallest and lightest in its class of contemporary supersonic combat aircraft. Don't be rigid, always work towards a prime. Surround yourself with open minds, people can change your life. A few friends with intent can help you feel alive. Find a passion, take some action. Notable for being the first indigenous fighter aircraft of India, the Tejas integrates modern design and manufacturing techniques including extensive use of composite materials to reduce weight, increase durability, and improve performance. It is equipped with a fly-by-wire flight control system, advanced avionics, a glass cockpit, and an in-flight refueling IFR capability. The aircraft is powered by a single GEF 404GE in 20 turbofan engine. Apart from design commonalities and a few critical systems from its predecessor Tejas Mark 1A, most of the technologies are to be borrowed from whatever has been developed so far for advanced medium combat aircraft program. Several radar cross-section reducing measures will be incorporated in the airframe design so that a degree of frontal stealth can be achieved including radar absorbent material coating and composites making up its skin and twisted air intake ducts. It has a tailless compound delta wing configuration with a single vertical stabilizer and close coupled canards to provide static instability and high maneuverability and is equipped with fly-by-wire systems to control instability. This MWF is also to feature an indigenous integrated life support system on board oxygen generation system from Defence Bioengineering and Electromedical Laboratory, Aircraft Health and Usage Monitoring System to integrate various sensors on board Tejas Mark II from Defence Institute of Advanced Technology and a built in integrated electro optic electronic warfare suite, among other improvements to avionics. Utilising extra fuselage space, ADA designed larger air intake for GE's F414 INS-6 engine. It will have an infrared search and track IRST system and a missile approach warning system. An increase in payload capacity to 6,500 kilograms, 14,300 pounds, and internal fuel capacity to over 3,400 kilograms, 7,500 pounds, will allow it to carry more weapons with a longer range. The GEF 414 INS-6 engine has a maximum thrust output of 98 km and also offers improved specific fuel consumption over the F404 in 20 engine selected to power both Mark I and Mark I, A variants of Tejas. The aircraft is designed keeping in mind that GE's F414 will be replaced once an Indian power plant is available. Therefore, the future engine replacement should make minimal changes in the configuration. The Tejas Mark II will have a night vision goggles compatible glass cockpit dominated by a touch sensitive wide area, display placed in panoramic orientation and a wide angle holographic head up display system. The Tejas Mark II will have hands on throttle and stick arrangement with right hand on stick and left hand on throttle settings to ease the pilot workload. The Tejas is designed to carry a variety of weapons including air-to-air, air-to-surface missiles and has provisions for bombs and other munitions. It also features an internally mounted cannon for close air combat missions. The fighter has been praised for its agility, maneuverability and high serviceability. The Tejas weapons suite consists of IDARBY ER and Astra Beyond visual range air-to-air -air missiles and R-73, Python 5 and AS-RAM close combat missiles. 
The Tejas has an internal 23mm Gryazev Shipunov GSHH 23 twin barreled auto cannon under the starboard side air intake. The BrahMos NG supersonic cruise missile is being developed for the Tejas. The Tejas has been ordered by the Indian Air Force and Indian Navy, with the Air Force committing to over 120 aircraft, including both the Menke 1 and Menke 1A variants. The programme represents a significant step forward for India's defence industry, demonstrating capabilities in modern fighter design and production. It also serves as a platform for further advancements in aerospace technologies within the country. One of the Indian Air Force Squadron that operates the indigenous HAL Tejas is No. 45 Squadron, Flying Daggers. This squadron is a fighter squadron internally based at Sula AFS Tamil Nadu. The squadron was initially based at Bangalore, Karnataka and later shifted to its main base in Sula from the 1st of June 2018. Indian Air Force No. 45 Squadron was involved in the Atlantique incident on the 10th of August 1999. Two MiG-21 Bison from No. 45 Squadron IAF equipped with R-60 missiles intercepted and following warnings issued and hostile action shot down a Pakistan Navy reconnaissance plane. Any place that I go, I know you hate that. I've been doing fine. I'm not wasting any more time. I live for the